Boy. Well, welcome back to the Coosa River Farm Boys on New Year's Eve 2023. Yep. Otter, will you make it to midnight tonight? No, I got to work in the morning. You got to work in the morning? I got, I'm the starter in the morning. Wow. Well, uh, for both groups. <laughs> for, for, uh, for, oh, that's how many we got tomorrow? It ain't many. Hey, uh, some of you may have been wondering about Jeff. Jeff has worked a lot of shifts lately and he's a little under the weather this morning. He's a lot under the weather this morning. Him and his wife. Have they got a stomach virus? They've got a stomach virus. Oh, or or God. she had it and now he's got it. Look, and uh, when you keep grandkids and stuff and those stomach viruses go through daycare and stuff. They go through the house They too. go through the house. So Jeff <laughs> is uh, down there. He, he may be one or two stomach viruses away from his ideal weight. He, well, maybe two. Two? Okay. <laughs> but uh, what me and Otter are going to do here in a few minutes we're going to go out and pick up the trot line. I, Otter was actually a little late, which is fine. It allowed the wind to settle down a little bit. But we want to thank everybody for a good 2023. We're almost to 500 subscribers. Uh, our TikTok, TikTok is at what, Otter? Almost 800. All right. Our Facebook is about 4,600. 4, All right. And we may be adding some more sponsors this year. Talk about your daughter and... Uh, uh, okay, Jennifer Gallup's Front Porch Realty. If you have any uh, any any real estate needs, buy and sell in town, out of town, on the lake. Uh, I think she's got a house under contract here in Fayetteville right now. So, uh, well, she's just got give one her a under contract in Chillersburg right now. Under, Mine. No, I mean she's got one sold here in oh, Fayetteville. Oh, okay, in Fayetteville. Well. Otter, you may not realize this, but we've got open house next weekend, and we can't be there. Yeah. And me and you have to work that afternoon, so I may be at your house from <laughs> 8 in the morning till we go in. But we want to talk a little bit about, before we go out and run this trot line, it won't take us but just a minute to run the trot line, we want to talk about some projects I've got for the boys down here this coming uh -oh. year. Now, Otter, remember when we built these raised beds? Oh, yeah. That was a show. Now, one thing I cannot figure out is why I didn't just line them here. Out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. But I've been studying. We're going to get all this cleared out. We're going to plant potatoes in them this year. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, potatoes are planted in February, usually harvested in June. Then I can follow it up with peppers. And I've got more raised beds getting made. Uh, this coming uh, semester, Chillsburg Ag Department's going to use some repurposed lumber to make me some more. So we're going to raise some potatoes. Otter, we've got to clean up all the old garden stuff. Yeah, it's all dead. Now, Otter, come over here. All right. Now, we've got a huge burn pile over there. Yeah. That we've got to burn in the coming week. Now, Otter, this tractor, oh, and by the way, we've got to take, God, the list for what you and Jeff have got to do. <laughs> we've got to take the three-point hitch, this plow off, and I got a mechanic coming to get the tractor, give it a full service, get it ready, but the plow doesn't need to be on it, and we'll have to unhook the PTO and all that. You know that kind of stuff, don't yeah. you, Otter? Yeah. Now, here's my question to you, Otter. How do we get these things to that burn pile? My neighbor has a bucket on his tractor. Should I just ask to yeah. him? Yeah. Or should we just roll no, no, them no, up no. there? No, no, no. Get the bucket. We'll roll them into the bucket. Uh, all right. But we've got that that burn pile thing's going to have to be monitored all day long. Yeah. Water. Yeah. It's going to have to be monitored. All right. Uh, and we've got, like I said, we've got all types of different projects going on. We're going to go visit some interesting places, check things out. Now, it's been a while since we ran this trot line. Yeah. And when I was a kid and me and dad was running trot lines, when we'd go out there, if it hadn't been there a while, with the water cold like this, usually you have a big fish. So I'm not promising anything. There may be nothing on it, but we're going to go out and see. We're going Are you to up for it? Otter, I, safety first. I'm oh, wearing yeah, a life you, jacket yeah. on the land, right? Yeah, you got a life jacket that would fit my grandson, John Howard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I think it'll hold me up. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a little blue kit here. 
It's what we like to call a good eating size fish. And we got uh, we got competing issues right here, don't we, August? Yeah, we got the wind blowing one way and the current going the other. And I'm trying to put a little bit of bait on too. Otter, what's the temperature? Probably mid 50s. Oh, uh, high 50s. I looked at the truck on the way over here. It's... Oh, oh, you cut. Where? Something else out there pulling on us. Oh, I see it. I see it. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Daughter, did you see that swirl out there? Yeah. It's going to take everything in my power to get that bad boy in. Oh. Daughter, you... Woo, Otter! Are you getting a shot of that fish? Well, not right now. I'm trying to keep the back end of the boat around. You shake this boat any more than you are. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my good friend, dear friend, former colleague, former student. Oh, I'm getting the cramp on her. You can't get a cramp. Uh, Michael Phillips. We put him on the prayer list today. Michael is having his gallbladder removed Tuesday. And Otter, I'm thinking about making a run up to North Alabama to see my old buddy. This this bait's no good, it's too soft, Otter. I'm, I'm just gonna run the line okay. and get this fish. Now Otter. It's the it's the it's the noodle hooked on the, the dang motor. Right. Hang on, I'm gonna lay the camera down for a second. Somehow we got something hooked back there. Is the noodle hooked? Yes. How in the world? Okay, we're back. We got the noodle unhooked from the motor. All right. I'm fighting otter. I'm fighting a big fish. I'm fighting weather. There's really virtually no chance I get this fish in. Woo! You see him, Otis? There's virtually no chance. I'm going to have to play him down a little bit. Uh, not as big as I thought. We, we don't litter either. No, he ain't quite as big as. He's pretty dang good though, and he's barely hung. He don't matter. Oh, he's barely hung. Thing oh yeah. Get out of that net. That's about like some of them we caught jug fishing it. Mm -hmm. He's got a skin up tail area, but I will. What did you do with my pliers? You just laid them down. Oh, when you go fishing with the otter, there you go. boy that fish was barely hung. Barely. Let me get him in this cooler. I t what did I say before we went out here? Might catch a big one. Ah! Got a shot of him, Otis? Yes. Right. I just had a feeling. Let's see what else might be out here. There's actually a, a decent amount of current on it in there, Otis. Yeah. Hey, Otter, where did you say we might could get some goldfish? Oh, that, uh... What's the name? Is it Ronnie's or... Right there across from the old Eva Jane Mill, right there in the Mill Village. Uh, they sell produce and watermelons in the summer and... 
Well, they have minnows and I think I, they have the big shiners and, they, and if I remember right, they have goldfish. All right. Well, we may not catch another one, but we did get big boy. He was cutting up out there, wasn't he? Yep. All right. Oh. And and it show the people how good this old gizzard stuff stays. <laughs> it on. stays on the hook. It stays on the hook. And it's December 31st. And we're out here running an old trot line. Now this area between here and the bank is normally a good area. But really don't know with wintertime fishing. Whew. My arms are tired. I'm just going over my head with that, Otis. You got the boat good and straight now, Otis. Yeah. Well, the, the winds. Why didn't you do that while I was dealing with that fish? Well, the... uh, hang on, I'm going to have to light the camera down. You're going to have to be a lot of eddies, John. Okay, we back. Boy, that gizzard will hang on there. Right. I'm going to show you a trick my dad taught me. Pop the line, watch. Pop it. See how I popped it? Yeah, and all that stuff flew over here on me. No, yeah, that's how you get the trash off the line. It's actually hung out here a little bit. You pop that line. Hmm. That's the last hook. We came, we saw, we conquered. Let's go back and clean this fish, Otis. All right, we'll be back exactly. in a minute. All right, me and Otter went out on a nice, peaceful day. Uh, Otter, a lot of times, this time of day, you're in the woods hunting. And tell yeah. our viewers how things come to life in the woods this time of day. Oh, if you've never hunted, the woods just get magical about the last 30, 45 minutes before dark. Not before sunset, before dark. The wind, will, just about always, the wind will lay down. It'll get real quiet. You can hear a mouse fart. Oh gosh, you it's, know I hate that word. It's uh, it's just it's just it's just magical. You have to be there to see it. it it's uh, uh, and I know that's your kind of form of escapism, like me doing tennis or yeah. riding a bike. That's your chance to get away. Uh, we want to wish uh, Jeff and Shirley a speedy recovery from yes. the stomach virus. Now this is the burn pile, and Otter, this is going to be something that's going to be a three or four hour job that we need to monitor, right? Well, well what, yeah, what we need to do. We... All right, give us your your advice. I think we need to move the pile into consolidation. Consolidate it into one big pile and and burn it all at once. Hey, and uh, we would love comments, guys. You know, we've done a lot of catfishing uh, the last few weeks. Uh, things y'all might like to see us do this year. If y'all want to see us plant something different in the garden this year, uh, we're in, I think, zone eight in Alabama. We might try it. Uh, but we'll do, we'll be visiting places, going places. We are going to do a show at Hanover Homemade. Yes. Where she goes over all the cakes she makes and stuff. Yes. Uh, and Otter, uh, what uh are you going down to farm links tonight for the fireworks show no no fireworks uh, shows for me i'm going home i'm taking a shower <laughs> i'm getting in the recliner watching football and then yep. football will watch me yes well guys everybody out there who watches our channel happy new year and that's a wrap isn't it otter that's a wrap <laughs>